if you want to live stream and record in high quality at the same time this is gonna be useful if you want to repurpose your high quality recorded stream example if you want to make some shorts out of it or you want to make some video on demand even if you want to just archive the high quality copy of your stream this is gonna be super handy especially if you live streaming on facebook as of now facebook only allows you to stream in 720p unless you are a gamer in their special program so having the ability to use OBS and actually record the same stream in a high quality format 1080p instead of 720p and a higher data rate is gonna be super useful so in this video I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that of course using OBS and right now I have my Facebook page open at the same time we have OBS so we're gonna be streaming and recording at the same time so you're gonna see the whole process so what you need to do of course assuming that you know how to bring in your cameras and to create all the scenes and everything if this is your first time I have a video that I'm gonna link down below that is gonna show you how to do that but other than that let's get into actually our settings using OBS so once you open settings the most important task that we're gonna be using is gonna be video and output of course and a little bit of stream in general all right the first thing we need to set up we need to set up our actual stream again for the purpose of this video we're gonna be streaming on facebook that's in purpose because facebook is gonna take 720p and we need to record a higher full hd quality video so what we need to do is we're gonna go to video here the first settings here that you need to keep in mind to kind of have ready is gonna be here which is your base canvas resolution so if you're streaming from a 1080p monitor or if you're streaming let's say maybe you're gaming or you're sharing your screen and using a 4k monitor 1080p monitor 720p monitor whatever resolution they're using on your monitor is gonna be what you're gonna enter here into your base canvas resolution in my case i'm using a 1080p monitor 1920 by 1080p and then for the output or scaled resolution is gonna be the resolution that you want to send out to the streaming platform so if you're streaming on youtube this is gonna be different because youtube takes 1080p it can even take 4k so if you want to send a 4k stream you could actually try to upscale your 1080p canvas resolution however in our case we're sending this stream to facebook it's gonna be 1280 by 720p if you don't do this again facebook may reject your stream or your stream may actually appear kind of weird zoomed in it just doesn't look pretty all right the rest here doesn't matter another thing is if you're not into gaming you're gonna actually go ahead and use 30 frames per second so here where it says common fps values so we're gonna keep it at 30 frames per second so now once we're done with the video part the next part we're going to go to output okay this is where we're gonna spend most of the time as you can see we have the streaming tab and the recording tab and of course the audio part the first time you're going to open obs of course the output mode is gonna be on simple so you want to make sure you actually have it on advanced right so now we have the streaming tab and we're gonna start right away with the streaming tab and this is gonna be our settings that we're gonna be sending only for streaming not for recording to facebook live so again you can go ahead and actually copy my settings this is gonna be super super easy just audio encoder make sure you're using the core audio acc audio track you can keep it at one doesn't matter video encoder okay you need to if you have a dedicated graphics card you're gonna go ahead and actually use nvidia nvec h264 but if you don't have a dedicated graphics card you can actually use the x264 which is gonna be using your actual computer to encode your stream next part here the rescale output this is gonna be a little different you don't need to check it you can leave it this way but we're gonna be checking it later on on the recording part and then under encoder settings you want to actually keep it at the rate control cbr beat rate you want to have the maximum that actually facebook takes for 720p is 4000 kbps all right or 4 megabits per second for the keyframe interval of course we want to keep it at 2s or 2 seconds and in preset you can use mine and tuning same thing keep it a high quality multi-pass mode keep it at two passes profile high 
everything here gpu zero max b frames two everything guys you can just copy my settings of course i'm gonna leave it on screen so for you guys you can just copy the same thing should be good this is for facebook live all right of course for youtube it may be a little slightly different youtube is not gonna be 720p it could be 1080p so this is specifically if you're streaming on facebook all right next up we're gonna go to the recording part so now the recording part these are going to be your settings for recording internally into your computer remember we're gonna be streaming and recording at the same time for the type you can actually keep it as standard and then recording settings here as you can see you're gonna need to choose a file path where the videos are going to be recorded all right so you're gonna go to browse and choose any folder that you want if you have an external drive that you want to be recording on that will work as well most people do that but for me i have it into my videos folder so you just have to click browse and choose any folder on your computer for recording format now if you use the current obs it used to be mkv this one right here mkv maybe uh, obs crashes or your computer shuts down you lose power you would actually lose the entire recording if you were recording in mp4 but as of now with the new version of obs they have what they call fragmented mp4 which is lossless kind of recording so if something happens you're gonna be able to actually recover uh, your file up until where you were where something happened so you can go ahead and actually for the recording format use the fragmented mp4 you should do the job for the video encoder again we can use the same graphics card if you don't have a dedicated graphics card you can go ahead and actually use your computer for me because i have graphics card choose nvidia nvec h264 for audio encoder same thing core audio aac and then audio track we can keep it a one audio track and this is the most important part here if we were streaming in 1080p maybe we wouldn't need to rescale output so it's important you actually check this box right here very very important so rescale output to 1920 by 1080p I'm going to show you the files when we are done. Other than that, everything keep it the way it is. And then we're going to go to encoder settings here. For this part here, instead of using CBR, we're going to be actually using what's called CQP. This is going to give us a higher quality files, especially for recording. And for the CQ level, we're going to use 18. Okay. You can go ahead actually play between 14 and 20. If you use 20, it's going to give you kind of lower data rate. So the files are not going to be super huge, still going to give you high quality. But if you're streaming, let's say 10 minutes video or less or 20 minutes or less, I will actually recommend you put it at 14. However, if you think you're going to be doing like two hours, three hours recordings, kind of long streams, and you want to be recording at the same time, I would say put it at around 20 19 or 18 try to play with those numbers and see how big the files are going to be because if you put it at 15 you may end up with really really heavy big files like something like 20 30 gig or even 40 gig which is too big right so for me i will probably gonna keep at 18 for the keyframe interval again we can keep it at 2s and actually i will say everything else you can actually go ahead and copy what i have here multi pass mode two passes profile high make sure you check the psycho visual tuning gpu zero max b frames two that should do so that's pretty much it for the recording part and then for the audio part keep the audio bit rate at 160 and everything just keep it at 160 really there's not much to do and then for the replay buffer this is if you probably gaming and you want to capture your kind of last 30 seconds while you actually live so it has nothing to do with streaming or recording once you're done always make sure you hit apply to make sure everything that you just did actually are saved and you are good to go i'm just gonna show you if you go to advanced the most important thing you need to do here is to make sure that the color space is actually in rec 709 and the color range make sure it's actually on full here everything should be checked just leave everything else on normal okay you wouldn't have to change any other stuff here the way it's gonna be by default should be good and then if you go to general here again for the general tab 
you don't have much to do here you can just leave it the way it is on default and then if we go to stream okay this is where we're gonna be setting up our live stream on facebook live so right now i can have everything set but when you open obs it may be on facebook live or it may be on youtube live or twitch so what we need to do usually i will actually use custom regardless if i'm streaming on youtube or facebook i'm just gonna go ahead and hit apply okay we're gonna go ahead and actually go to facebook live this is my page here click live video as if i was going live hit go live here and then select a video source so for streaming here on facebook we're gonna use the streaming software all right which is obs so this is the option that we're gonna choose all right so for this we need the streaming key which is this key right here we can go ahead and actually click to advanced and then of course we need the server url let's go ahead and actually start with the server url and then we're gonna go to obs go to settings okay and as you can see go to stream and as you can see it's already there because i have tried it before but what you would do you would go ahead and actually uh paste the uh, link that we just got from facebook and then boom all right and hit apply and then okay and then we're gonna go back to our facebook page and then we're gonna go to the stream key here hit copy by the way don't show your stream key for me i don't mind because i'm gonna reset it but you know you shouldn't show it because somebody can actually steal it and stream to your page so you never know what people can do and then go back to obs and of course to settings go to stream and then we're gonna go where it says stream key and then we're gonna paste the stream key and then hit apply and hit ok so now if you go live i can go ahead and actually hit start streaming as soon as i hit start streaming it's gonna go live on facebook so let's go ahead and actually test it and see what happens all right so as you can see i have a feed right here and as you can see it looks really good i will just go here where it says add post details make a title so i call it testing and then description and then hit save so as soon as you hit save usually it will give you this button here this button will allow you as soon as i hit go live i'm gonna be able to go live it's gonna show up on my facebook page publicly of course i don't want to go live publicly this is just for testing but as you can see the signal is good so now if i go back to obs what we could do now because now we are live streaming hit the start recording button and that's what's going to do is going to do the magic so we are streaming and we are recording at the same time i'm going to actually bring a timer here and we're going to record a five minutes clip after five minutes we're gonna see what we have the file size if it's 1080p instead of 720p because remember we're sending 720p to facebook and of course we're gonna find out if it's actually high quality recording of course so five minutes to chill all right so time is up hey we have been streaming and recording for five minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and actually hit stop streaming just before i actually do it just want to show you that we're actually you know kind of sending the data to facebook and this is our stream of course we have obs kind of you know recording so i'm gonna go ahead and actually hit stop streaming and stop recording so now we're gonna go ahead and actually check out the actual files of course we know that we were sending 720p to facebook if you want to prove you can see it here in video as you can see it says output scaled resolution 720p if i go to my video folders here you can see that i have the video right here and it has been recorded and the total is actually 373 megabytes that's the file size for a five minutes video and i can go ahead and actually open it just for you guys to have an idea as you can see it looks 
pretty good you can see the quality is really awesome the colors are good the quality looks really premium i'm super super satisfied so if i go to properties the actual video here is actually 1920 by 1080p which is full hd the data rate is actually 18,000 kbps or 18 megabits per second the audio bit rate 160 kbps so everything looks really really good frame rate 30 frames per second right so exactly the settings that we had back in obs for recording so you can actually go ahead and take this video edit it add some stuff create some you know shorts or publish it anywhere you want so guys without taking much time again my name is sam you're watching that production tips and tools if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel for other videos like this especially if you are into live streaming because that's why we focus on on this channel make sure you hit that like button but other than that if you want to learn obs from start to finish i'm gonna link a video that i actually made at the end where you can actually learn how to create scenes add microphones all the stuff you need the video is gonna be linked right here or here but other than that i'll see you guys next time take care